This time, we'll learn how an application can be compromised by file injection attacks. First, let's create the fake web page. Create a new empty HP.NET web application name and exploit. Now, add a new web form name and default and remove the code behind and inherit attributes. Add some text to the web form and put it inside H1 marks. Now, add one web project and name it Victim. Add a new web form with the same name used before, default. Remove the code behind and inherit attributes from the top of the file. Add some text as a title. Switch to the sign view and drop a file upload control and a button control into the web form. Double click the button in order to generate the click even manager method. Add call to get the physical path from the root virtual path and write call in order to save the file that resides in the file upload control. Now copy the victim space to an IIS server and remove all unnecessary files from the root server. Now browse to the new site with Internet Explorer, go and go to the Internet Information Services Manager and grant full control permissions to the user anonymous IIS underscore IUSRS. Now go to the victim's application and upload a file. Any file can be useful. Go to the application folder and make sure the file was uploaded successfully. And now it's time to attack. Upload to the system the file name default that is located at the exploit project then refresh the page. It's done. The page has been hacked.